Uh, so you're a fan of our morning program? Oh, yeah, I think it has so many yeah, uh, yeah, interesting... Yeah, yeah, we know it's terrible. And... Perpetually in fourth place behind the Today Show, Good Morning America, and that thing on CBS, whatever it's called. It's a source of constant humiliation. Last year in the Network Softball League, the CBS team wore hats that said, at least we're not daybreak. <laughs> the actors of the show are uh, difficult and semi-talented. Oh, I think Colleen Peck is a pro. Heinous. Uh, Paul McVie is a fine reporter. Foul. Okay, is Daybreak a shitty show? Yes, but it's on a network. And not just any network. This is one of the most legendary news divisions in the entire history of television. Daybreak just needs someone who believes in it, who understands that a national platform is an invaluable resource that no story is too low or too high to reach for. Are you gonna sing? Look, Mr. Barnes, Jerry. Daybreak's I, facilities what? are antiquated. Uh -huh. It's understaffed, underfunded. Oh, and the pay. Awful. About half of what you made at Hey, How the Hell Are You, New Jersey. You've never been an executive producer. You're too young. Nobody's ever heard of you. And here, your education three, not four years, at Fairleigh Dickinson in Teaneck, also known as Fairly Ridiculous. Did I miss anything? Daybreak needs what I need. Someone who believes that it can succeed. Trust me, I know you don't have any reason to believe in me. <laughs> But I work harder than anyone else. I'm in first, I'm out last, I know a shitload more about the news than someone whose daddy paid them to smoke bongs and talk semiotics at Harvard. And I devote myself completely to my job. It's what I do, it's all I am. I, you can ask anyone. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs>